intimacy is the experience of um, feeling connected with another because you are able to really see them. You're able to really get what it's like for them to be them and they can tell that you do. And you're able to really show what it's like to be you and give someone else access to you and you can feel that somebody gets you. Then you feel connected. How you create intimacy is there's these two things that you need. And the first is that you, you've got to be real. You've got to show your real self. If you're hiding, if you're pretending, if you're faking it, if you're just trying to make a good impression or impress somebody, then that's not you there. So you may get like an, an interesting interaction with somebody, but it's not you having the interaction. And so it doesn't end up being very ultimately satisfying. You've got to be authentic. You've got to learn to show your real self and open and be messy and just be what you're really like. The problem is that realness by itself is not enough to create intimacy because it can actually alienate other people. I mean, if you go up to other people and you just tell them what it's like for you at all moments and that you've never met this person before and now you're sort of, you know, gushing to them about how amazing it is for you to be in their presence or you're, you know, broadcasting your suffering, people will get scared away. They won't be interested in actually hanging out with you. They'll never get a chance to get to know you. And that happens because there's a certain set of um, fundamental social skills that you may be weak in that have to do with attunement. Attunement means I'm not just being myself with you, but I'm also tuning into you. I'm paying attention to what is going on over there. I'm noting your facial expressions and how they change as I'm talking to you. Uh, you know, how you seem to feel about the proximity, how the distance between us, you know, am I too close, am I, am I too far away? I'm responding to how you respond to me. That's attunement. Um, I'm trying to speak in a way that will be accessible to you. So I, I'm imagining what it's like for you to hear what I'm saying. I'm taking your perspective. All these things are aspects of my trying to get your experience. So at the same time that I'm showing myself, I'm also trying to understand what it's like for you to be you. The balance between those two things allows intimacy to be possible. I'm aware of what's going on over there, and I'm also giving you the real me, and so it makes it much more likely that you will be interested in what it is that I have to offer, you'll receive it, um, and then I'll be able to get something about what it's like to be you. You need those two components together. So realness without attunement um, often alienates other people. Attunement without realness is often just kind of self-sacrificing. I'm just sort of noticing what's going on over there. I'm putting all the attention on you, but I'm, I'm just kind of keeping myself hidden. Um, you need both.